Columbia has worked well for our family. The people tend to be very nice. Um, the weather is great and there's enough culture and we get really into our college sports here and so it's a good place to be. The patient centered medical home, there's much more involvement with the patient than just the physician. I think it, it really is going back to some of the roots of in the foundation of, of health care in the states and um, that it is part of your community commitment. It's different when, when you come in, you are approached um, by your provider in a, different, in a different way. It's a team approach. Not all visits that a patient um, has is physical. Some of it is emotional, some of it is spiritual. We like to think that we deal with the whole patient. This is the most resources I've ever seen in an outpatient clinic with patient medical home, so it's been great. Uh, being part of this team means that we're working together, professional side by side, medicine, the pharmacy, nursing, and we're doing whatever we can to take care of the patient. What care coordination is, is we work with the physician practices and um, working with the physician and with those patients that are considered high risk. The data that I pull eventually being used on the front lines in the clinical setting by other nurses and physicians, um, I think ultimately that's what improves patient care. Data represents patients and I tend to look at the patient and then see what the data tells me about the patient. So what I do is put in a procedure so I can keep track of it. So when they come in for their physical, which is usually when you talk about health maintenance, those routine things you need outside of anything else, it lets you look at it in one place, which is nice. To build that confidence that the physicians have uh, in the data, uh, that has been a journey. Without the resources of Cerner and uh, a good solid electronic medical record, we would not have been able to accomplish this. It is absolutely key. For our journey in utilizing Cerner as an EMR has allowed us to have multiple ways of communicating, whether it be through a hub, whether it's through the HIE, um, our physician sharing the outpatient chart. It's, it's just been a huge win for us. At Palmetto Health, we really felt that when we looked at the way that healthcare transformation was going, we realized that we needed to have the investment in health IT and the investment in health and wellness and population health to be successful in the future. It's about the patient. You see both short-term improvement and hopefully when you look back at the data five and 10 years down the line, you see that you made a difference. I think the best part is that we're saving so many people from going to emergency room and, and reducing hospitalizations. Yeah, it's preventive because we're taking active care in their patients. There are lots of models of care out there. I think what you have to do is to be aware of the needs of your community and you need to adapt that what you do. It's not beyond our physicians to go out and get something that the patient needs. The twins that come out of the NICU and uh, the parents have no access to transportation but they have a car in the front yard on cinder blocks and so you buy a set of tires. Pick up something as simple as a year supply of Claritin. Mm -hmm. So you now have this patient that won't get sinus infections and upper respiratory infections and feel fit, fatigued and miserable for something that costs pennies. It makes a difference. The patient has to be the focus. I mean, I think that old way of thinking, well, we do things the way the doctor saw it or the nurse saw it, those days are gone in healthcare. I think that's the great thing about patient-centered medical home. It's the team-based approach to delivery. It's, it's the present and the future for healthcare. <music>